Brandon with Shawshank Detailing. Just wanted to show you a product we're using today that's kind of unique. A lot of people don't know about it, but it definitely speeds up your process when you're trying to knock down orange peel to level it out and you don't want to sand. Now, I'm working on a BMW 2002 right now. As you can see, we can't make it absolutely perfect because there's some issues in the paint, but we're going to get it as close to possible for our client. We had to wet sand some of the areas. Some of the areas we're knocking down with this product. So what I'm going to show you is the Max Shine Orange Peel Removal Denim Pad. They have a denim one that's 2000 grit, and then they have a blue felt one that's 3000 grit. As you can see, I got it on my Max Shine M1000 rotary buffer and I'm gonna show you how it works I already spread the product out right now I'm using Sonax ultimate cut it's a great cutting compound it also finishes down to a nice nice gloss as well and a long working time that's the most important thing you need a compound with a long working time to use this pad so you can just go over it multiple times without it heating up too much or you're gonna burn through that paint and cause some issues. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it works. Okay, first things first, you wanna spread the product out evenly. You're gonna see I start kind of slow to spread it out even a little more, just so you have even cut. I just kind of feather the trigger, spread the product out a little bit. If you've, if you have any experience with a rotary, you know to stay away from the edges. You can tape them off if you don't trust yourself. I just kind of stay clear of them. And then you let the pad do the work. So I usually start at a slower speed and then I speed it up as I go to level out everything. is a little grabby at first so the compound starts to spread out. So just be a little careful when you start going. But then it gets much smoother. Now I can speed up the process. I'm going to cross hatch a little bit. And then I'll come back through here on the edge and put the edge a little bit. And that's the do it from this side. And one final step is just walk through, see if there's any higher orange peel in some areas that weren't knocked down, and you could focus on that area a little bit. So I'm gonna look through, try to find, right here is pretty heavy. So I'm gonna come over here and knock it down a little more. If there's any more, right here is a little heavy. And the beauty of using that Sonax compound is this working time. It's still got the lubrication to go back through and focus on certain areas. Just wanted to add a couple things about the orange peel removal pad and the Max Shine M1000 rotary. The job we're doing here, this is an aftermarket paint job. There's plenty of clear coat to go through on this car. You do not want to be trying this on a, a brand new car or OEM paint. There's not enough paint on a new car at all. The brand new cars nowadays, I'm running into cars with two mils of paint, which is less than a post-it note. So be very careful. Do not try anything like this on a new car. The next thing is if you're an entry level detailer, paint correction specialist, I, I, whatever you want to call it, if you just started to get into buffing, you've been doing it for a little bit, using an entry level orbital, something easy to use like a Rupez or like the M15 here, the really easy machines anybody can use. You might not want to be getting into this because you can cause some damage. Definitely don't be using a rotary unless you know what you're doing. Don't be using this orange peel removal pad unless you know what you're doing because you could definitely go through the, the paint very fast in this method. So I just wanted to add those couple things before anyone ran into those mistakes. So keep that in mind. 
before looking to purchase these. Now make sure you get multiple pads because as you can see, this one's been through the ringer today and uh, the sides are starting to get a little messed up. I'm gonna have to change it because that can start scratching the paint. So when you're done with this, it does leave it quite hazy. You get the buffer trails because this is a pretty heavy cut. You're really knocking down the paint. So then you can go back through with like a regular cutting pad, like the Max Shine Green cutting pad. I'd show you, I don't have it on me. Um, you can go back through with a cutting pad. You can use this compound again, the Sonax, because it breaks down to a pretty fine cut. And then depending on the paint, you might have to polish after that. It depends on how the paint reacts, if it's soft, hard. Um, all these are available. We are Sonax distributors. We are also Max Shine distributors. So everything I'm showing you right now is available on our online store. Also here in our shop up front in our store. If you have any questions, you can contact us here on social media, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Um, you can also contact us uh, through our website as well. There's a contact me section. That's www.shawshankdetailing.com. Uh, I hope you have a great day. And big, big thing I forgot to mention, don't try this unless you know how to use a rotary because you can you can easily, easily destroy the paint. So this is for more advanced detailers, people that have paint correction skills, especially rotary skills. You could throw this on a DA and it's definitely gonna do some work, but I'm using a rotary because that's the fastest, easiest way to do it. So if you don't feel comfortable with a rotary, like the M1000 Max Shine rotary, then you can go ahead and pick up a DA, like our, like right here, the Max Shine M21. That's gonna cut a little better, but then this is the easiest to use for beginners. This is the Mac, Max Shine M15. So either one would work if you don't feel comfortable with a rotary. Again, let us know if you have any questions. Thanks and have a great day. Okay, so here's some shots of the paint before we started doing everything to the BMW. It was really, really heavy orange peel. There was a lot of really heavy spots that we ended up having to sand. As you can see, a lot of texture. 90% um, of the car we did with the pad. And this is what it looked like when we were done. So here's a nice shot in the sun. Shows you a lot of the levelings down. Is it 100% level? No, we had some issues in the paint, defects, nibs, a lot of things that we couldn't fully level the paint out. Also the metal, being an older car, is not perfectly level. But as you can see, it came out amazing. <laughs>